when I was a uh, kid, I was getting close to becoming a teenager. We'd go visit my grandpa and grandma, Redden, over in uh, Gallatin, Gallatin County, at Verona, Kentucky. 1967, he bought a house over there on a dead-end road. And uh, when, that, when we go over to visit, I always noticed his garage windows, the windows of his garage. Inside of his garage, he had these real thick curtains. And I was really a little too young to understand what that was for. Well, I would soon find out. Uh, my grandpa, back in, this is back in the 1970s, and I remember him doing this twice, two times. He would literally take out the odometer, which is a federal offense. He would take out the odometer, he rigged up a little motor. And what this motor did, it would slowly rotate the mileage all the way forward, it would come back again and create low, mi low miles. So I, it took two weeks. And he had this little wood platform with wheels. Now his, um, his desk and, or his workbench in the garage was real deep. I always wondered why it was so deep. What he would do, he would put that odometer that he took out of the car and he would hook it to this motor. Then he would slide the whole thing under his uh, his, his uh, workstation. And one time my dad seen it and my dad wrote it out. What is this, Dad? You know, my dad was asking his my, my grandpa, and you know that's that's what he told that's when he told us. And so the thick windows was to outsmart the FBI. And it worked. He was never caught. What he would do after two weeks, he would he would wheel out the uh, yeah a little like a wooden bench or a, or a wood plat flat wood platform. He would pull it out his deep workbench. He you know it was on the ground on a concrete floor I should say. He would pull it out unhook it from the slow moving motor and why he was slow and he, he never go backwards you go forward he did that so it would not screw up the tumblers it was analog and my dad didn't understand that he said don't mess with it he said it's supposed to dad my dad says why don't you go backwards to be faster he said no 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 you got to go forward because it leave it leaves less evidence you know Here's the FBI, they go through training, and yet my grandpa Redden was smarter. He probably knew more about the law than the FBI did. In my grandpa's eyes, the FBI was green behind the ears. He knew all about warrants, he knew about line of sight, what they could do and what they couldn't do. He was so smart, even if he'd been arrested, he would have got out of it. He would have been smart enough to find a loophole where they screwed up, and he would have got out of it, and he would have embarrassed the FBI. They would have turned red in the face. He was that smart. He, my grandpa was retired from Ford Motor Company. He thought it was funny. Yeah, he didn't care. And he would, after two weeks, he would take the odometer, detach it from the motor, put it back in the car, take it to a dealership, and you get more for the trade-in value. When the dealership would look at the low mileage, it gave him more money on the trade-in value. And he did that twice. He didn't care about any breaking the law. He just, he loved the challenge. And he was never caught. Think how many people does that and is never caught. And he lived in a perfect place for it on a dead end. Interstate 71 is about 300 feet behind his house. 
in the backyard, and his and, and his yard went downhill a little bit. But I never will forget that. He just <laughs> he just didn't give a damn. Even if he'd been caught, he was smart, and you didn't you did not mess with him. There's one guy that I know of, not because he's my grandpa. He was one guy that I, I remember very well. You did not mess with him because he could outsmart you. He would embarrass you. He was just that. He just naturally gifted, naturally smart. He knew more about the law than the law did. And he never went to training. He didn't have to. He was already up here. Yeah, I remember him doing it twice. I don't know if he did it the third or fourth time, but I was over there when uh, he's getting ready to take a car to uh, for for trade-in value. <laughs> two times I remember. Yeah, it took two weeks. It took two weeks to run that analog counter forward. It would be high mileage in two weeks. Take it out, be low mileage. Put it back in the car take it to the dealership and when they'd see low mileage oh he got a you know, much bigger value in trade-in yeah my grandpa broke the law he just didn't give a sh he just didn't give a shit that's the way it was back in my days it, it ain't like it is today all henpecked now i'm not saying go out here and break the law that's not what i'm saying but i see my grandpa do it twice and he never never was caught.